Tigers win on and off the field. Joseph LaBoa, New Orleans, Louisiana. I'm a major criminal justice and uh, I plan on uh, pursuing my football career as God will after I graduate. Ready? My name is Jamal Carter, senior major from Alabama, lives in Alabama, major in recreation. Lewis McLeod, Gainesville, Florida, a recreation administration major, and after uh, my graduate, I uh, plan to pursue my fo football career. I'm Mike Hill, industrial technology major from Vicksburg, Mississippi. After graduation, I plan to Jumpstart my career as an industrial technology, well, industrial engineer major. Uh, Deirdre McDonald, account major from Warren, Mississippi. After graduation, I uh, will be attending grad school. I'm a sports manager. John O'Connor, uh, my major is industrial How technology. How special is it uh, for you to have your school allow you to be able to graduate early? I know the bank gets a chance to do so too, but not everybody gets that. Uh, has that uh, opportunity. How, how special is that? Uh, that's a special opportunity. It's um, an honor to be exact. There are rumors are that we're going to have to fly out there the same day as graduation. And some rumors that they had moved graduation back. But for them to um, move graduation up for us, you know, it's a good opportunity. That way we can get graduation out of the way and still have, be able to focus back on the game. Get our mind right for Saturday. Mm -hmm. So you think it's a win win? But yeah, what? killing two birds with one stone. Mm -hmm. the, the first guy out of my immediate family actually getting the grip. That's getting a degree, so it's real special uh, to my family to start to see me walk across stage or see me get my um, degree. Uh, but then again, you don't get that chance to, uh, to get a degree and get a ring at the same time. So to me, both of um, them, I mean, it's just exciting. Both uh, of them how big is it to erase that notion that student athletes are only athletes and all they care about is playing? Athletics or playing sports. Football ain't everything. You got to get your grades. Disappointment when we found out we was on probation and uh, it hurted everyone on the team. You know what I'm saying? So therefore, we all made a personal commitment to study hard to make sure we get our grades right. Cause we knew this year was our year. So we couldn't. We weren't gonna let that um the opportunity bypass us. So therefore, we just studied harder, got our grades right, and therefore we're reaping the benefits. So now we got a chance to graduate. Well, the college and the coaching staff played a big part. Uh, then, even though we had to miss practice, they let us miss practice just to get our grades right. And, uh, uh, I, I thank them personally for um, you know giving us the opportunity to come to school, get a degree, and, uh, and excel from that. So, Coach County definitely played a big part. Uh, graduated from high school, I had one eight GPA. I couldn't go. I couldn't get into no schools, uh, no big town school. I had to go junior college route. So. Uh, I was gonna let I wasn't gonna let grades um, conflict with me playing football, uh, earning that scholarship. So when I went to college, my first year, junior college in Arkansas Baptist, I uh, told myself that I was gonna get three point or higher. So you so you went from one point eight in high school to now three point uh, high, at, at least a three point R. Yeah. Well, how was it? How's it make you feel, man? Uh, when I go back home, some of my partners who used to who had like two five, like man, how you doing? And uh, the first thing that I say is. Uh, Oh, man, your teachers like you, you're a star player. I'm like, God. What's one of your biggest memories? Uh, when I came in from East Mississippi Community College, they, oh, they greeted me with open arms. Didn't nobody turn their back toward me or treated me no differently. Uh, it was like one big happy family, you know. So coming in with, with the guys that I'll be walking across the stage with this uh, Friday. You know, we came in together and you know, we had to sit out our first year, whether it be grades or red shirt or whatever. But, you know, we haven't seen a lot, we haven't been through a lot, you know, to be able to walk up across that stage at the same time, you know, celebrate it together. I think that'd be a great memory. My biggest memory was it's coming Friday on off the field, which is uh, graduating. I told my mom, once I get there, I'm going to get that degree for you, Shirley. So. <laughs> <laughs>